Let me share my reflection from the Gospel according to Mark chapter 5, verses 21 to 43. I was struck by verse 24 that said, And he went with him. There was a time I tried this uh, Asiana Airlines flight in Clark to Korea. It is called an, uh, a red eye flight because it departs at 1 a.m. and will reach Incheon by 6 a.m. I did this because I wanted to save on the number of days I would be away uh, for my business trip. So I left Monday at 1 a.m. and arrived in Incheon at uh, 6, 6 a.m. the following uh, that morning. Then an hour drive going to Seoul from the airport. Then another hour going to the factory for my meeting. I thought I was doing myself a favor by traveling all evening and then going straight to the meeting. I did not want to do it again after I experienced it. No? it was I was very sleepy the whole time. I was only half, half productive during the meeting. In the gospel today, I can just imagine how tired Jesus was from his travels. They were just returning to Capernaum from the other side of the Sea of Galilee where, they, well, the, where he cast out the legion of demons from the possessed man. And then the night before, that was the uh, eventful uh, time no? in, during uh, uh, the whole night uh, when they traveled from Capernaum uh, going to uh, the other side of the sea uh, where they experienced the storm that uh, eventually Jesus calmed, right? So even while Jesus was, I believe, very exhausted from all of this, you know, uh, upon returning to Capernaum, uh, during that day, you know, perhaps to rest, no, because that was his home already. Upon arrival, no, nakita pa lang siya ng mga tao, they already flocked to him. And immediately, no, nandun pa lang siya sa seaside. There was this man, Jairus, no, a leader of a synagogue, immediately came to him. And then invite, inviting him, begging him to come to his house to heal his daughter. And the gospel said, no, he went with him. No hesitation, no ifs and buts. Exhausted man no hindi. The Lord no, hears us when we come to him with our request. And that's what he did. Upon Jairus' request, he came to, with him. I believe the question for us today is, are we doubtful that the Lord will hear us when we pray to him? when we raise our concern to Him? Do we have faith that we can bring any and every concern we have to the Lord, even if we think we're not worthy? Or uh, do we believe that the Lord will come with us if we ask Him? Like Jairus, may we have the faith to bring our concerns to Jesus and have the courage to invite Him because our Lord will not refuse our invitation. Amen.